Land ring out. All right, now you can use a pick, pull the packing out. And I'll just poke it in there and then pull it out. There you go. One. This valve happened to have two, two packing. Yep. There you go. Just like that. Okay. See that? Now, what I want to do is uh, I kind of re grease it a little bit. Try to put as much as you can of grease in there. Not over grease it, but you know. You know. Okay, get your first uh, packing. Just want to screw it on the stem. You don't want to force it all the way yeah. down because you're going to rip it. So just kind of screw it on there. By the way, it's going counterclockwise. Okay. Go ahead and slide it down. Pull the stem all the way back if you need to, you know. Kind of move it a little bit. Kind of work the packing in there. So what I usually do is kind of move it to the side and I push to one side, and make sure that it's in that ID and then I kind of go down with it, kind of work it all the way around like that both sides you're gonna reach a part where it's gonna be real hard to install on this side what I usually do is uh, I have this tool which is flat I to put pressure on top of the packing and I use this uh, screwdriver to kind of work it in there you know so There you go. Insulation pipe. Push down your packing. Install the next one. Same thing you did on the first one, do the same thing on the second one. You can just push it, no? go just be sure that you don't want to shove this in there and your packing is still out of that groove you want to be sure that your packing is all the way inside of that groove before you you push it in you don't want to cut your your, your packing okay and then your gland ring make sure this is here we yeah. There you go. And you just grease on top of the gland ring. Put your retainer back on. Grease on top of your retainer. Put grease on your stem. 
Now you're ready to put your uh, your top assembly back on. It's gonna stay the same. You don't want to mess with it because that's your timing. And now you're gonna go counterclockwise. Start screwing it back on the stem. All right, there you go. As you're doing this, what I usually do is I kind of hold the retainer down and I pull the stem back, see? Make sure your stem's all the way up when you're doing this. So, pull it back and then you keep going. Remember, your number stayed right there, right? And that's where you're gonna put it at. You're even already, now you grab onto the screw housing and you open your handle. Now your screw housing is gonna go, go down to your bonnet. There. Now, last thing you wanna do is put your nuts on and torque them down. Close the valve, no? That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you double check that timing, right? The bottom's out. Yep. Alright. That's good. Okay. Alright.